by the outside but it's nice and sunny in, in here I've got my daylight strip light so we're all ready to go now today um, I'm going to do something a little bit different um, you may have seen on my page that I recently did a Japanese gardens and did um, where there was cherry blossom and koi, uh, koi pond and temples and Mount Fuji and quite quite zen type thing. Thank you Laura for that. Um, it was a big double commission, really nice when it finished. Um, and it's it sort of put me in the zone a little bit. Um, I've started doing my mandalas again. I'm starting a new um, art book because my other one's full. Um, so I've covered this one with mandalas. And plus at the weekend I was at a live event and my first craft fair of the year and it went really, really well. But again, I had all my um, mandalas out and up on the boards and I thought, do you know I really miss doing them. So no, I'm not going to do a mandala, but what I am going to do is a thing called a vignette. And it's a very Zen type of way of painting. It's basically the painting just drifts off the page um, into this white. It literally just disappears. So your main picture is in the middle. Some people have it coming down as a slash. Some people have a definite oval where they just blur the edges. Mine's going to be sort of a combination of both. I may take it up the top a little bit. We'll just see where the paint goes when, the, when I start it. But that's what we're going to do today. So let me put down my cup of tea and pick up my paints. I'll just have a quick slurp first. Join me if you've got one. Because I never get back to it, do I? I always have my put my cup of tea down and that's the last I see of it so it's usually stone cold at the end. Right the colours I've chosen today I'm not sure I'm going to use them all because uh, originally I was just going to use blue and white but I thought no do you know what I think I'll add some other colours in there as well. So titanium white, um, phthalo blue, prussian blue and I've got a little tad of cerulean blue it's just a nicer blue that I think just for sky. Um, I've got Payne's Grey instead of black. I decided to go Payne's Grey. Um, I've, <laughs> thank you, husband, for having strong hands. He managed to get a little bit of dark sienna out of the tube for me. Van Dyke Brown, Alizarin Crimson, Cad Yellow Light, um, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, and of course my bright red. So I'm going to start, I'm not going to use the big brush. I'm going to start with my one inch brush. The reason I'm not using the big brushes is because I might use them to blend, but I just feel that doing just a small section, I might end up covering the whole painting if I use the big brushes. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the phthalo blue and dull it with a little bit of the Prussian blue. And let's chuck in a little bit of cerulean blue as well. Now, in my mind that might be a little bit light so I'm going to dull it even more with a little bit of Payne's Grey. Just why I went Payne's Grey, oops the oil's escaping. See we've gone from being torrential rain and winds and everything to a really nice warm weather again and my paints are starting to separate again. Okay now I'm just starting in the middle. Why is she starting in the middle? Because I'm working my way out because the painting will, like I say, just disappear totally. Okay, so we'll start with a sort of an overly effect. It will come out a little bit. Go back for a little bit more paint. Is anybody watching me? I bet you that's Lewis. So we'll start a little bit. And this one, I didn't put, add the Payne's Grey this bit. Now the reason I'm doing blue down here as well is because I decided a vignette snow scene would actually be quite quite nice, quite zenish, quite peaceful. And obviously shadows. Now all I'm doing 
is getting rid of the brush strokes. Now, let me have a little look. It's a bit lopsided, so we'll go a little bit more over here. And I really don't want to go much further than that. Okay. And that will basically be my shape. Now, obviously, as the painting progresses, if I decide to put a tree in there, I'm not going to stop the tree. I will carry on and put the tree up a little bit. So it's, it's looking like my horizon's going to be around and about there. So without washing the brush, I'm going to go into a little bit of alizarin crimson and titanium white. Now, a little bit more titanium white because I want some pink clouds, but I don't want huge pink clouds. So we'll get some clouds put in. Just very soft clouds. I don't want anything that's going to stand out. I usually use the do these with a a fan brush but I just thought I'd show you you don't have to use a fan brush if you're worried about the fan brush just turn tap in the corner and just turn and make some cloud shapes now I'm lightening it as it's going out to the edge obviously I want it to disappear into the there we go I want it to disappear into the painting that's a bit dark so if I do that and then it will disappear out okay I'm going to do another one over here so this time I'm starting with the white and then I'm going to add the alizarin crimson as I come in and I think we'll come down there with that okay now I am going to take my two inch brush for this because it's got lots of bristles in it. All right, say hi if you're out there. It's always nice to know who's watching. Okay, and we'll go across like that. Now don't forget you have to fluff it and sink it into the painting. Okay, that's this one. Let's say that not doing anything horrendously. Now I've got, because these are real hair brushes, as in, I don't know what, I don't know what kind of hair is in there, but it is animal hair that's in here. Um, they're not synthetic, so they do shed. But I'm sure knowing Bob, no animals were hurt in the process. Okay, they're usually hair bristles or something, as in hair the rabbit, not hair on your head. I believe, or something like that. I could be talking utter rubbish. If you know, can you please let me know? If not, I shall have to look it up. Now, I'm using up the last of the Windsor and Newton. I was actually able to get hold of some Bob Ross thinners on eBay. Yes! So hopefully next week I will be back to them. Now I did think as well we would do just in the background a little mountain. So I'm making up, adding some alizarin. Oh, <laughs> the alizarin crimson's a little bit warm today. It's a bit lively, a bit feisty, feisty, feisty. Okay, so I'm going to add some white. Make sure I've got the right colour. Yeah, because that'll do is my highlight colour. So, need my life anyway, don't I? So, we're going to up here just put in a suggestion that we've got a little mountain way back in the distance. I'm starting it quite low. a bit regular but we can always put another peak in there there we go that's a bit better and we'll come across put another little half peak 
in there and we will disappear off into the edge okay so scraping off as much paint as you can it's all about layers these this pa um, painting technique okay we'll leave that there so cleaning the knife I'm getting my little one inch brush come in there and sweep it down and this is where you can sort out what mountains in front what mountains behind which peak is the main peak I think I'm going to have that one as the main peak I'm going to have it coming down meeting that one so that we've got a kind of valley and then we'll just drift that off to the side okay so that it gets lost in the sands of time in the mists of time okay so just blend it all we will be doing a lot of blending on this this one because obviously it's got to all disappear okay so that's my mountains I'm going to take this color which is a mix and it's marbled get a little roll of paint come slightly above barely touching the canvas come down same this side up above literally it is only the paint that is touching the canvas we want all these little holes because they're going to indicate the um, crevices and the light shining off it okay and then one more do here And swing that one round. Now on the other side we're going to need some blue and some white and I'm going to put in some Payne's Grey. Oof. And I'm also going to stick my finger in the titanium white by the looks of things. I don't know who saw my video yesterday. Who saw my video? Throwing the um, white gesso everywhere. What a wally. I tell you there is more paint on the floor than there probably is in every single one of my paintings I've ever done. Okay so now we just need to come back the other way. So this will be my shadow. Again I'm not using incredibly strong colours. I'm just using everything's going to be quite muted helps when you remember which, which pile of paint you're actually working from. So, under that one, there we go. Now, and then one more for in here. And that can just disappear off into the distance. Now, to my mind, this all looks a bit straight. So, I'm going to add in what I said with this one is actually going to come over and join in with that one. So, just mixing the colours together. That can come down and that can come there. And that can mix in. Okay, and then we will just put a little bit of the dark colour behind on little bits like that just to show what's happening. Put little bits in where we are. So that's casting quite a shadow there. 
um, you might have another bit of shadow up here, that's too much. Beauty of oils, too much, you can scrape it off. Okay, right, so I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to take my dry two inch brush and I'm going to tap the bottom just to mist it up a little bit. Just creating a little bit of mist here. And then I'm going to actually tap into this color and bring some down into that space there. There we are. Okay. Bring your color back up the outside in and there we are okay now I have got let me do that okay right now we're going to take a fan brush I'm going to use a mix of these two colors put quite a bit of paint in we'll have some trees and all I'm doing is pulling down with the fan brush a little bit darker okay so that's Going off into the distance, getting lighter over that side, and we'll come over this side and do the same. And I'm going to start in here. And when you run out of paint on one side, simply change it to the other. All right, and that, like I say, just adds a little bit of depth to it. So we've got a little bit of landscape now coming in. And this one can come in here. Okay. So, yeah, we're still going, so we're okay. Right, um, taking my brush, now I'm going to start with a little bit of snow. So the snow is going to come from the mountain. Right there. It's going to come down this way. Add a little bit of purple. Give a little bit of shadow. Picking up some of this. There we go. And bring it down. into the water, there we go, a little bit, and over this side, again a little bit just to show some shadows, and to say that this is another plane of land, okay, so there's another bit of the mountainside coming down, or the hill. Right, now to me, that's a little trail or a little river. So let's do a little river. Um, wasn't planning to do a little river, but as one's appeared, well, let's just go with it. Again, this is the beauty of oil painting and yeah, it's the beauty of any painting that you're doing. All right, do a nice pale, just the white 
just a mix of these blues and we'll do a little bit of water coming along here and I think yeah I think this water I just need a little bit of the liquid white into the white and I think we're gonna have water's bubbling a little bit it's coming along and oh we have got it we've got a little waterfall just slipped right out okay Need a little bit of dark. Need a little bit more dark, so I'll put some dark in with the waterfall. And then I should go back to the liquid white. And we shall go. And just the white. have a little bit of in fact I think we'll have a little bit of a rock hit sticking out from the snow here as well so we'll have snow on top but I think it gives reason then for us having the waterfall and then a little bit of soil around there we'll have another rock the other side that and we'll have a little bit of land there as well all right let me have a look we're not very level considering we've got a level waterfall so there we go okay i see why we're not level i need my waterfall brush and the white just need to level that off a little bit there we go there we are that's a bit better okay so now we'll take the brush with the snow colors bring that onto there a little bit of snow in fact what I will do is use my knife and we'll bring some fresh snow down that hill so it's been laying there it's rough old snow it's been laying there a while and onto there okay same on this side a little bit of snow take it back up the hill Yeah, you know I'm concentrating because I'm quiet. Okay. And then a little bit over here, bring this down as well so that we come down to the water's edge. Okay. Now, 
you need to cut in the lake's edge. Obviously, you need liquid clear for that. I'm going to put in a little bit of red as well, just to reflect a little bit of that's too bright, but you'll be able to see it then. Oh no, that's fine. Make sure that goes straight, otherwise it looks like your water's going to run off the edge. Okay, there we are. That will do that. Now, what we're we going to do now, I actually want to blend all this in a little bit. I don't like it so rough. But we'll blend that a little bit. There. Again, we've got to come back out to nothing, so there we are. Okay, right now in the distance, I think, because we've got a little lake and everything, we'd have a little cabin. So up here, I think you'd be a way away. I'm going to put just a little cabin. Not going to be a very big cabin this time. It's going to be quite a way away. Okay, a little bit of snow on his roof. I think he's been here a while. There we are. cabin in the distance. Get some snow on that other side because at the moment it looks like it's all fell over and you've had a bit of a landslide. There we are. Put a little chimney in shall we? chimney um, just need to tidy up Rosie's foot so we'll bring this down there we are put in a little window little door maybe there's his door there we'll give him let's give him a wooden door so I keep turning my back to you guys I am sorry so we'll give him a little yellow door be nice and welcoming one time Okay, so that's him. Now he's going to have a little path that goes from there. And if I were him, I would come down onto here. And I would moor my boat. I would um, fish from there and I would moor my boat up somewhere else. Okay, but because we're doing a little vignette, now I think we're coming a bit far down on the bottom, so I'm going to take my white and bring it back up. Okay, I've got my white down here, and I can bring my white up a little bit. Okay, bring it into the painting, make sure it's not. out this way a little bit I think. It's down near the bottom. And there we are. Okay, how's it looking? Okay, what else can we add? I think what I will do is over this side, I think it's going to need the fan brush in some of this dark colour with the blaze. So we're getting a bit bluey a bit purpley so let's stick in some blue and I think 
I'm going to do blue tree. Call it blue spray, shall we? Blade, so I shall have to just use one side of my brush because for some reason the other side of my brush just isn't giving me crisp. Mind you, they're all brushes, they do need some work doing to them. And shall I put no, I'm not going to put one that side. I'm going to wash my brush though and wipe it on my and then I'm going to go into the white. I'm holding both sides of the fan brush. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, that's why I keep everything under here. I'm going to go across this load of colour here. And we're just going to touch up there. And we'll come down, we'll put some support in for this tree shall we actually give it a bit of support there we are wipe up some paper going back to my brush that you saw me load touch the top and then we put the snow on it so we're not so much just highlighting it as sticking some snow on come back into the white make sure your brush is fully loaded so I'm going to have this one in front. Now it's not sticking very well, so I'm going to add some liquid, liquid white and then hopefully we'll find that's better. And this one will be in front of that one. Okay, then I'm going to take my brush and take a little bit of the shadow and we'll swipe it down the hill onto that. That looks a little straight, so. And there we are. And I think that I might add a little bit more, just very, very light up this corner. Perhaps come up, because I've come down a little bit now. Just need to make sure it's all. Actually, I'm going to bring this out a little bit out here. I'm just going to bring it down. There. Now, I'm actually quite happy with that. I like the way it looks. I think I've got the effect that I was looking for. Hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you give it a go? Because it's a challenge to keep all the painting in the middle. Actually, no, I'm not done, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tree here. Yeah, I've got time. Not that I'm on a timetable with you guys, you know. But I'm just going to add... Am I... Indecision, indecision, indecision my worst enemy. What do you think? Tree going up there? I think so. I'm just going to add it just right here. Excuse my back for a minute. I'll tidy it up a little bit. Mum. Yeah, I got your message. Finally. Yeah, I'll we'll just put that up there. Okay. So, leaving him like that, 
I'm going to take my script liner brush, go into these colours. sounding suspiciously like a truck maneuvering in our backyard. We are waiting for a delivery but we're not expecting it until tonight so I don't know if they've arrived early or just turning around. We get quite a lot of that. Mind you, it's a big enough road. Although we're out in the country we've got quite a say quite a busy road <laughs> but the country is quite busy now all I'm doing with this is as I go up I'm making it lighter and lighter so that it will eventually just disappear into the painting or into the edges don't forget turn your brush as you go hold it at the end And I think, yeah, I like that better. That's much better. So I'm not actually reloading my brush just now because I want the paint to run out. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to dip it into the liquid white. And I'm going to come back going to lay a little bit snow in here on these bigger branches. A little bit of snow. I think that's where it would be. I don't know why it's got oh, because I didn't wash my brush did I? Oh, Wally. Not doing well today guys. Don't want brown snow it's worse than yellow snow isn't it? There we are. We can just stick some of that on there. In the crevices maybe there's a little bit of snow tumbling down there there we are a little bit build up just here and there the bigger ones won't have or the smaller ones won't have it get too much in the breeze okay and then I will take my snow brush. I think we'll have some rust snow here. Pick up the colour. There we are. We'll just there you are, he's got a little bit of snow around him now. We've roughed up the snow a little bit there. Should we rough up the snow the other side as well under these tree? There we go. And I think I am going to touch a little bit of the white to it. And we'll just make this a little bit rougher. So I think this is a little bit of a salmon fishing stream. Now I'm happier with that now. Script liner brush, it's signing up time. As you can see, last week's painting is over there. That is now on the website. This one will be on the website. And I did my first, um, I'm gonna sign it in the corner here. In fact, do you know what? I'm not going to use red for this. Oh, shock horror, she's not using red. I'm going to use a mixture of the snow color. Don't often, but I think the bright red would really stand out so too much. So I'm using this sort of lavendery There we are. 
And there's my RV at the bottom. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, everything will be on my website, rvart.co.uk. Um, yeah, I have no more events coming up because now we're not going back into lockdown, but we're restricted to meetings of six people again. Um, so just as everything was getting back to normal. So if you're one of those people that work in a place where you have to, I don't know if it's just social gathering or not, where you have to reduce back down to six. But if you find yourself at home, please do join me. Same time, same place, next week, 11 o'clock on a Wednesday. Um, if I don't start getting a few more people watching live, then I may have to stop this altogether. Um, but in the meantime, I'm enjoying myself. I hope you are too. Please do let me know. And also, if you could, I've got a YouTube channel and it could do with a little bit of love at the moment. It's feeling a bit neglected because I'm doing everything on Facebook. So if you would, please um, have a look at my, I, I, when this video goes up, it'll, I'll post the link. Have a little look on my YouTube channel. Please say hi or make a comment. Um, like my channel, share my channel, subscribe to my channel, please, and the notifications, um, and have a look around, have a little mosey. There's something like 20 or 30 videos on there now. So uh, they're also on my website, but let's see if we can't give the YouTube channel a little bit of loving. All right, take care, have a great week, and I will see you next time. Take care.